Hello, hello, Hannah the Suburban Witch here, and today I am showing you how to spot a fake tarot deck. If you're new to my channel, I'm Hannah the Suburban Witch, a professional tarot reader and astrologer, and I love bringing you all of my spiritual witchy tarot goodness content here on YouTube. You can also find me on pretty much all of the other social media platforms. My content varies depending on where you find me. And I've also got the Witch Talks podcast, which I am the host of, and I'd love to have you listening along there as well. This is hard because ordinarily I wouldn't buy a fake tarot deck. However, I have had two of them gifted to me by my beautiful in-laws and you know what? They, they couldn't have known better. It's very difficult to know better in this regard, especially if you don't actually do tarot yourself and they bought it from a legitimate store and I'm going to call that store out. That store is Ishka here in Australia. Ishka, what the hell are you doing? Anyway, I've reported them to the, to the publisher. So hopefully they're going to take care of it. If you're starting out, a lot of people will tell you that a lot of fake tarot decks come in what's called um, the flip top box like this, right? But I mean, this is a legitimate tarot deck and this comes in that. So it's not always a good indicator. Sometimes that is just a way to make the deck more affordable. And personally, it's not a long lasting deck cover, but it does the job, right? Now these two, both of these are fake. Now, key things. So yes, the packaging might be one that we look at, right? It comes in that little flip top. But the key thing that I want you to look out for is a QR code on the box. Yes, some legitimate desks, decks have this, but it is rare. It is rare. This one has one on the back. Now this is instead of a guidebook. If you buy any of your tarot decks on Wish, you are definitely buying fake decks. So these ones are fake. They have the QR codes. They are also smaller than the, the decks actually are themselves. Like this is a small deck, right? You can see my hand is all fitting around it. This is a standard size deck. It's small, right? So much smaller. And then when we go into it, I'm going to show you. It's got the back of the deck. That's fine. Like, I don't even know what the real cardstock is like for this deck because this is quite flimsy. It's quite thin. Like we have not the best quality, like it's not crisp, right? The imagery is not crisp. It could have been a lot crisper. So the size isn't always an indicator, but yeah, I find a lot of the stuff you buy on Wish is often smaller than it should be. So with this one, the quality of the imagery, it isn't amazing. Like it's slightly grainy, which was, it's hard to show on film, but it, it's just not super crisp. Um, they're very thin cards and yeah, they're just, they're not right. So definitely look out for QR codes, quality of the deck itself and the, the actual card stock, the packaging that it comes in, uh, and then look at what you're buying it from as well. So wish do not do it. Any of those like Alibaba or any of those not great. Uh, have a look on the publisher's website. If you want to buy a legitimate deck, go direct to the publisher or to the deck creator, then you know you're going to be getting it right. eBay can often sell counterfeit decks as well, sometimes secondhand ones. So you just got to be cautious because we don't want to be contributing to the theft of the intellectual property and also the artwork that the people put into these, right? That the creators put into these because they should be given the money for what they do. And the energy that comes along with a counterfeit deck is not quite the same. So QR codes are a big deal and you can have a look. Sometimes you can find unboxing videos on YouTube. So if you're like, well, I don't know, maybe it does come like this. Go and check an unboxing video. Does it have it on there when they show it? Because you often see the actual packaging. Go and look at the photos on the create on the publisher's website. Maybe they don't have that listed on there. I actually contacted the publishers for these ones to double check. And they said, definitely they are counterfeit. So you can do that as well. Like they're there, they want to talk about their product. So definitely reach out to them if you want to. I hope this video has helped you today. And I would love if you would subscribe to me, give me a like, show your girl some love. That would be amazing. And I'll catch you next time.